was obviously entertaining. Maybe not. A little weird. Game four of the NBA. Definitely final. entertaining. It just wasn't. Not a good basketball game whatsoever. It wasn't a good basketball game, but it was entertaining. Uh, look. I'm confused. I mean, we obviously are talking about the double, or excuse me, two technical situation for Draymond Green. One allegedly given to him in the first quarter, and then one we saw in the third quarter, which, you know, he was going to be ejected. They had hit the road jack playing. He's getting the fans into it. And then he's still in the game. Yeah, that was weird. It was weird. I think they, look, we got the, the pool report. A reporter was allowed to go interview the refs and then report back basically everything that was said. They do allow one reporter for situations like this when there was a controversy involving the refs. So the refs said, in essence, when they called the first quarter foul, technical foul, it was on Steve Kerr but they admitted failing to make that clear to the scores table. So when they called the second technical foul, they were under the impression that was not Draymond's second technical. They thought the, it was on the on uh, Kerr. Mm -hmm. So they acknowledged that they blew that. They acknowledged that they wasn't really, they didn't hear the, the PA announcer announce that Draymond Green had a technical foul. Now, I don't know. Sounded to me a little bit like this was Let's meet before we talk to the pool reporter and figure out what we're going to say mm -hmm. because that was a mess. And s some of the uh, talk out of the locker room was that when Mark Davis threw that, gave Dur Draymond that second tech, that he thought he was throwing him out the game. Mm -hmm. That's why he gave it to him, like, I'm tired of you, tech, because Draymond didn't even do anything. He kind of waved off after a call he didn't like and walked away. And Mark Davis like, I'm tired of you, tech. Get out of here. But something happened, and it changed, and it's a mess, and it's not good. And it just kind of underscored how messy this game was. It was just, it wasn't a good game. There was also a situation with Kevin Durant and, and LeBron James that was allowed to go on for quite some time after KD was hit in the face by Kevin Love, who was issued a flagrant one for that. And then the refs just let them stand by the scores table and talk. I mean, whether they were talking about, you know, the unreleased rap. See, that, yeah, that's, I want to know. That's the problem. Like, <laughs> you know. People think two black men talking is automatically antagonistic. And everybody's like, oh, they were. No, I'm just. We, they we they were talking there. trash. They were talking trash to each other. They were having a conversation. It looked like from the replays I saw, like LeBron was asking, why are you talking so much trash? Which is funny in itself. But it, 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 Kevin, the way Kevin Durant, Durant explained it in the mm -hmm. post-game presser, I thought it was a great explanation. Like, look, it's emotional. Don't try to take the emotion out of the game. Allow us to talk trash to each other. Allow us to get engaged and wrapped up. And that's where they were. I mean, these are two titans going at each other. Yeah, but Friday night was a bad look on the NBA yes. all around. Obviously, they played poorly, but there was too much else going on, and no one was controlling it. You know, the look, it doesn't take away from the fact that they got spanked pretty well. And, and blitz there in the first quarter. They, didn't, they, they played terrible defense. Terrible defense. Uh... I wrote, you know, our, my column in the Mercury News how their stars simply got outshined. The Cavaliers' three best players outshined the Warriors' four best players. And that probably shouldn't happen, but I give them one. They played like they just thought the Cavs were going to lay down and it was about to be a party, and they didn't bring it, which, you know, it might be a little unnerving for fans who remember 3-1, yeah. and now you're going back, but... They, they get one of those. They they get to play a game like that, and everybody not panic. 16 and 0 is off the table. The Warriors are back at 3-1. It's not the same situation as it was last year because they got up 2-0, to zero, lost Game 3 here, and then went back to Oracle with a victory after Game 4. But there are some of those comparisons that people are going to make going into this, and just you know, Draymond's back in a situation where. He was keeping his, he was relatively keeping his cool throughout yeah. this, and the Warriors were playing incredible defense. And then, as you said, you know the 24 threes that they that that Cleveland scored. Many of them the, wide open. Wide open, uncontested, and just no defensive, uh, you know, awareness whatsoever. What do you attribute that to? You know, they we've seen this all season. They get bored when when it feels like they aren't going to be tested. They take their foot off the gas. They thought that they were going to win the game. And they they know that they're better than the Cavs. So they took their best shot in game three and came back, and they were like, we got this. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to hit some threes. You know, they're going to miss some shots, and we'll turn it up. And they couldn't do that. So we've seen this. We haven't seen it in the playoffs, or we've seen it in the playoffs, and they've overcome it. Mm -hmm. But the way Kyrie was playing, the way LeBron was playing, the way Kevin Love was playing, you can't, you can't play like that. So Draymond Green said, 
the Warriors lost the championship because he wasn't there in game five. Mm -hmm. Now he's there in game five. Steph is healthy. They should win this series. It's, they should win in five. They should not lose to this team at home. They're not going to make 24 threes again. Mm -hmm. So we should, it shouldn't be a problem. But if they lose this game, then I think then now it's like, uh-oh, coming back here for game six in this environment, they might be in trouble. All right, be sure to join us at Oaklandish on Sunday, 3 p.m. at Bay Area Sports Insiders. We're doing a live Are you coming today? There. Of course. Are you coming? Or do you have a book I signing? Know. I don't know. I might. Marcus, might. Marcus might be there. I'll be there. Anthony Slater will be there. And you can you know have. I'm saying? I got to go to church. So three, maybe three if I got a church. Your yeah, service you know, will be over I by I do then. go to a black church. You know how we be in there hooping and hollering forever. <laughs> No, and, we got a on one. Note, we got a one. And on that note, we're going to end this, and we'll see you guys back in Oakland, Oaklandish, on Sunday, 3 p.m. Be there for your chance to win a free Warriors T-shirt, and we'll get, see you. I get to leave Cleveland. And, and Marcus gets to go home, and we'll get ready for game five.